So I've had the Rocket Max glasses for a hot minute now, and I bought them with my own precious money, and I have a full review on my channel. And that review, very coolly, caught Rocket's eye, and they've sent me a package of accessories to review. So, which accessories are good, which ones are bad, and also I'll do sort of a longer term impressions of the Rocket Max glasses while we're at it. Let's get into it. The Rocket Station is the new kid on the block. This is Google TV in a handy dandy little package. This is the best accessory ever for a very specific person. If you have an iPhone rather than Android or you have a non-compatible phone, this is a really handy portable way to get all of your media consumption with you on the go. With this and the glasses, you basically have a 200 inch television in your pocket. I mean, it's quite crazy when you think how far technology has come. What it's not is any way, shape or form access to the AR features within the Rocket app you can't have the Rocket app on it. So there's no pinning your screens in place while you can move your head freely, it's still pinned to the center of the frame. So you could argue if you already have an Android device that works or perhaps an iPad mini, it doesn't add a lot to your life, but for certain people, it will fill the gap. And there's another thing that I think it's great for is if you are traveling and don't wanna drain your primary device. So you don't wanna get off a plane with a dead phone because you've had to plug your glasses in and you can't charge it at the same time. So you would use your Rocket station with that, it's great. You've got 32 gigabytes of internal storage. I think for long haul flights, because I'm a bit picky, you know, you get on a flight and you don't, you know, you might not want to watch the thing that you've downloaded. I download a lot. I think 32 gig is a little bit stingy. So I do wish it had a micro SD or larger internal storage, but it's good enough to get you going. It also doubles as a power bank. So I think this is a great travel tool. My charge and play hub is my favorite Rocket Max accessory. It's tiny, it's stylish, and it feels very well built. It's primarily for the Nintendo Switch, but I'm very happy to report that it also works with the Steam Deck. This means with this tiny little adapter, which I literally just leave in the, in the case, so I always have it with me, I can charge my Steam Deck and play with the glasses at the same time. No longer do I have to play for an hour, charge for an hour, play for an hour, charge for an hour. Very unhappy to report that it does not work with the ROG Ally. Boo. Yeah, I've yet to figure out a solution for that. So Steam Deck, Rocket Max, Play Hub thingy, match made in heaven one of the most decadent, ridiculous use cases for the Rocket Max. I got like a little recliner chair at home and I'll play with my Steam Deck. I'm playing Slay the Spire at the moment. I'm hopelessly addicted. And the screen in my glasses is above my TV. So I'm chilling, I'm lying back, but I can also see the TV. We're rewatching uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine at the moment. Nine-Nine! So I get to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine and play games and live my best, most disastrous life. <laughs> I can't decide if technology is amazing or if it's dooming us to having no, no attention spans whatsoever. Either way, it's super fun and super relaxing and the play and charge hub enables me to do it for hours on end. I also have a HDMI to USB-C, which is great for Windows devices that don't have video out in USB-C or your consoles like your PS5s and stuff. Personally for me, if I'm close enough to my console that I, 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 I will have a TV. <laughs> Basically, I don't see a use case for this device for me personally, but maybe you travel and you can take your console with you, but you don't have a big TV. This would be a great solution because you could use your Rocket glasses as your screen, which is really cool. I do like to use my Rocket Max for work situations on my MacBook Pro. So if you needed to do that on Windows, this would be the accessory that you would need. Unless your device has video out in USB-C not to put a blanket statement on all Windows devices, but I do know some you would need to use the HDMI. I have the wireless hub thingy, which enables you to use your iPhone and circumvent the lightning cable of doom. So you can turn this device into a little Wi-Fi hotspot thingy and the glasses go to the hotspot, the phone goes to the hotspot and you can see everything with surprisingly little latency. However, it does not circumvent the copyright protection. So you can't play things like Netflix and other streaming devices through this because iOS. Meh. I would say it's good. If you adamantly want to use your iPhone with the Rocket Max glasses, this is the way to do it. But I think I would rather buy the Rocket Station if this was my case. And then I've got a dedicated portable, really stylish device that has all of my media consumption. And then my phone is separate and kept out of the equation. I've actually come from Apple this whole time, but I've recently got the Z Fold 5e Android phone. And that is a compatible device with the Rocket Max glasses. So I now have access to the Rocket AR app. And this is coming from someone who thought they were severely missing out not having access to the AR app. Well, it's a bit pants, mate. 
If you have the glasses or want the glasses, but think that you're gonna miss out because you don't have the app, don't worry. You can pin the screens in place, but it's very jittery and very unreliable. And it, you can only pin things through the app. So it, you can't even pin like all of the media apps that you want to pin or games or anything like that. People daydream about the idea of watching a recipe while you're cooking or watching a YouTube video while you're out with the dogs or something. We're not there yet. This is not the device for that. The 3D pinning of the screens is not great. It's vibrating and sad. I'm hoping that that will improve over time. If it does, I'll be very happy, but yeah, it's not the main reason to buy these glasses I have since established. However, I am sad that the Rocket Station doesn't allow pinning of the screen because the one use case I think having the 3D space pinnable is in a, a long haul flight. So you could pin the screen here but still talk to the person that's next to you or to the flight attendant or whatever and because you're kind of stationary and not moving much even if the screen was a bit jittery it wouldn't be the end of the world unfortunately that's not a reality we currently live in maybe with the next ones that would be the dream so long-term impressions do i regret buying the rocket max with my hard-earned money absolutely not i literally use them every single day whether that's as a work environment whether i want to use it as a big screen to do my video editing on or whether that's decadently watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine whilst playing video games. I use them a lot and they are particularly useful for travel. When I travel on long haul flights, two things inevitably happen. I'll either get a sore neck because I'm looking down at a device or I'll get sore shoulders because I'm bringing the device up. And a third thing that happens is I'll get eye strain if the device is too close to me. The Rocket Max solves all three of those problems in one brilliant stroke. You can lie back and enjoy your content on a big screen and it does trick your eyes to feel like they're looking sort of, sort of something big but far away. I don't get eye strain at all with the Rocket Max glasses and I'm super proud to it. I have a full video. Hello dog. If you can think of multiple ways that these glasses would enhance your life, be that work or travel or content consumption or gaming, multiple things tangibly that make it worth the money go for it i have no regrets personally i think they are fantastic but at the same time i am aware that they are not quite where we want them to be yet i think a couple of iterations down the line is going to be mind-blowing and i can't wait to see how this technology progresses so watch my full rocket review here and thank you so much for watching